Hi all, welcome again on my channel. In this video, I will cover next topic from SAP MM that is automatic purchase order in SAP MM. Before starting with video, if you are new here on my channel, please kindly subscribe to my channel and share this video with your friends and colleagues from SAP. Thank you. So let's start with our today's topic that is automatic purchase order from purchase requisition. So what is exactly automatic PO? So automatic PO we use where we convert purchase requisition into purchase order but note that this functionality only useful if there are mass PRs need to be converted into purchase orders if you just wanted to use this functionality for couple of POs then it's not ideal functionality for that so organizations utilize this functionality in order to convert mass PRs into purchase orders auto PO will enable the system to create the purchase order automatically from purchase requisitions without manual intervention so in this case you can set auto job as well as you can run t code and you can convert that pr into the po so system will convert requirements created through prs or if those prs are converted through mrp system will convert those pr into the POs. You can convert PR into PO without running ME21N and if mass PR is there then this functionality is useful. So we will see more about this functionality. Here I will explain how exactly this functionality works. So I will show you this. Create auto PO we need first vendor master but in that vendor master there is one tick in purchasing view that is automatic PO tick we need to Take that PO option there. If it's not activated, then auto PO functionality will not work. So I will show you that where it is. I have already created one vendor, but in that I will show you where exactly that tick is. So you can activate that or you can create new vendor and you can tick that auto PO option there. If you are using ECC, then just you can edit or you can create vendor with xk01 or edit with xk02 and in case hana you can use bp so i am using hana 1909 so i will show you in system so run t code bp then my vendor so i am going to use this vendor so i will open my vendor then in purchasing view you will see that so this is purchasing view for this vendor then in purchasing data if you go just scroll down then you will see auto PO here so while creating I have activated this functionality so this function functionality will enable us to utilize this automatic purchase order functionality so here you can read that then next is material master so you you must activate that tick in material master as well in my case i am using this material and i will check if i have activated the same tick for this material or not so run t code mm01 if you are creating new but i am editing existing one so i will use mm02 then my material then it's in purchasing view so i will not select other views i will just select purchasing and rest of the required view my plant and storage location then i will go directly to the purchasing view so if you go in purchasing view you can see this automatic po so it's not tick here so i will tick it here and save that material these two are the prerequisite you must have tick auto po in vendor and material master before going for auto po functionality use then next one is info record is must in auto po so i will maintain info record for this to maintain info record t code is me11 then provide your material and vendor detail so my material is same and the, my vendor then plant i am using is ie02 then according to your pr type you can select but here i will keep standard then press enter then maintain info record normally you maintain so i have covered you know, how to maintain info record in different video you can check that if you don't know what is info record and how to create i will just provide mandatory fields that are required 
it's optional but i have just provided and save the your info record so this info record now maintained then next is your purchase requisition so you have to create purchase requisition manually but in case you are creating purchase requisition through mrp then you can create through that as well and you can assign source of supply to them in me56 and you can again utilize functionality of auto po so now i will create here manually purchase requisition in t code me51 as i am not using pr that is created through mrp so i will run me51 so run t code me51n for pr i will give here details like auto po test it's optional then material then for how much quantity then unit expected delivery date material group then my plant then storage location then my purchasing organization and press enter then here either click on the source determination or just click here assign source of supply so system will bring vendor from info record here then once you assign source of supply save this purchase requisition i will just take note of this then next step is our automatic purchase order so note here automatic purchase order t code is me59n and it is useful when you are converting mass number of purchase requisition into purchase order it's not ideal for one or two purchase order and may, most of businesses use this functionality with auto job like they schedule auto background job for this t code and which runs may be depending on that organization requirement early to early or at the end of day so it's depend how that organization wanted this functionality so they even won't run me59n they said automatic background job for me59n so i will show you how to convert manually this pr into po here i am showing for only one purchase requisition but you can relate in case there are mass number of purchase requisitions so let's go into the system and run t code me59n So this is the screen of auto creation of purchase orders from purchase requisition and there are so many filter criteria like you can run this functionality for particular purchasing group or for particular organization or vendor or with respect to some contract or for certain plant so these all are there also you can run for particular document here as well like in my case i will give here purchase requisition as i have only one in case it's for plant then i might put here plant and i can execute but in my case i will run for only this purchase requisition so i have provided this purchase requisition here and then execute so once you execute see system have converted this purchase requisition into the purchase order and you can check details here so it has only one item and this will be the your purchase order number this is the document type and this is your purchasing group all header data so now you can go and you can check for this purchase requisition so i will check in me 23n so it's similar purchase order that i have created from particular pr so this is the my pr and this is the purchase order that i have created using me 59n then rest of thing is similar like you can convert this purchase order into gr and ir and rest of stuff so it's similar the next is how i can check purchase order if it is created from t code me59n or i have created it using me21n so for that there is no standard functionality in sap but i have to use certain document or history table so i will run t code se16n then provide table cd hdr then in this field object value so this document type you can put here this ein k beleg so this is the object type for purchase orders then here you can put transaction code me59n so what i am doing i am checking purchase orders created using this number or you may put user if you know or you may put date so i wanted to check how many purchase order has been converted using this t code for let's say this month so i can put here like that as well and 
and execute this cd hdr and cd pos these two tables are major in sap you can check almost all document types here so see these are the only three documents or purchase order numbers has been converted using this t code for this entire month if you wanted to check for which company code it has been utilized so you can copy that and again move this t codes into the po table that is ekko and just provide that list of purchase orders here and check out so here you can see all details for this company code this purchase orders has been converted using me59n so this is how automatic purchase order work i will cover one more video with announcement like there is no standard functionality to check auto purchase order so i will cover one more video with announcement that i will create one report which will show me which are the purchase orders has been converted using me 59n summary what we have covered so i have shown complete detail about how to create auto po for that we need vendor master and in vendor master we tick auto po option then also in material master we also tick there then we maintain purchasing info record it should be me 11 here after purchasing info record we have created purchase requisition through all these data but we have assigned source of supply here and after that we saved and then we converted this purchase requisition into the purchase order using me 59n you can set auto job for this as well i will cover in next or maybe in upcoming videos how to set auto jobs then how to check the POs that we have created using ME59N or ME21N so we can use this CD HDR table to check this so that's it for this video in case you have any question about auto PO functionality put in the comment section and I will try to answer that queries thank you for watching see you in the next video bye